Hi, Mark from Shark Dave here. This morning, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the new reels from Daiwa uh, for 2013, really the back half of 13. It's now December, almost 2014. Yeah, these are some of the models we'll see going forward into 2014. Uh, and specifically, the much yeah, awaited uh, new size for the very successful series of Lexa reels uh, is here. Uh, so we'll focus on some of the star drags primarily, which would be the Lexa, uh, Saltist, uh, Seagate uh, reels from Daiwa. Okay, let's look at a few reels. You know, first off, in Daiwa's line, there'll be no major changes planned you know, for the uh, Saltus lever drag series of reels. You know, the high speed will exist, the single speeds may go away, the little two speed products will stay in the line. You know, nice pieces, good value. You know, maybe not, you know, well, I won't say that, but let, let's just say there's a lot of US competition within the lever drag market you know, that, that shine uh, more brightly. Uh, but still, very, very nice pieces and well done, and they're priced well. In Daiwa's line, in terms of star drag reels, we'll go from the standard sea lines, which are about 120 bucks and, and represent arguably the best value in sport fishing today, to the, uh, to the sea gates. And then we go up to the saltists. Basically, construction changes, features change a little bit, but basically they're all nice star drag reels, all good casting, all good drag capability, carbonite drags, uh, basically carbon fiber drags. You go metal body, uh, you know, um, a cast aluminum frame on the Saltists, which are very, very nice reels in a $200 range. The Seagates range about a buck and a half, and then we go on down to the Sea Lines, which are around 120. Wonderful reels, straight ahead performance, um, Really, really, you know, excellent values in my estimation. But the big news for Daiwa had been the Lexus series. These guys came out um, about a year ago um, and had been very, very well received. Initially, there was a little 100 size, and then it was introduced uh, a 300 size. Basically, you've got maybe 140 yards of 40 pound braid that'll fit on the 100, and then go ahead and bump that up to 240. A lot of guys were putting 30 pound braid on these guys, fishing them 20 pounds. Um, drag capability, I should say all of these reels are seven bearings within the Lexus series. Um, but you'll do, oh, 10 to 12 pounds worth of drag on a 100 size, a 300 size, about 22 pounds of drag. And then this new series that came out this past year, was introduced in uh, 2013 ICAST, is the 400. And the 400s will do 25 pounds of drag. They'll hold an old 50 to 60 pound line, close to 300 yards. Um, and, and that's braid, of course. Great free spool performance. You know, they, they absolutely spin like tops. Yeah, nice, nice pieces. They all have cast control on the side, which can be cranked up or down. Spin well, cast very, very well. All in all, you know, just, just a real robust metal bodied reel. Now you do have, uh, Composite on one side plate, but it's metal body throughout where it counts. Um, great drag performance, great casting capability, you know, and a size that's going to fit just about everybody's needs, um, you know, from <laughs> anybody going inshore or moving on out offshore. Just a moment, I'll go ahead and clear the telephone and be right back with you. Okay, in terms of pricing, the dial is very realistic. Now, the little 100 size was initially $149 and a great value at that. Um, and at this point in time, it's even less than that. You know, so look back at our website and I think you'll be very, very impressed with, what, with what's available and for what price. Sweet little piece. Um, the 300 size, yeah, a very reasonable 249, or excuse me, 199, $199. Um, I bought myself one of these, used it in Costa Rica last year, performed flawlessly. A lot of guys are using it for calico and, and really could even be doing, you know, yellowtail off of these guys using braid for, you know, to gain some line capacity. Wonderful little albie reels and, and well enough built for that. 
But the 400 is, is, is going to become a go-to for a lot of saltwater guys looking to a little more casting ease than maybe a standard conventional reel. You know, it does have a level wind and the level wind mechanism is made well. Um, I think within the range of its use, um, it's going to cover a lot, of, a lot of bases for guys. Um, you know, albacore, you know, schoolie yellowfin, toss and popper, poppers, toss and plastics, you know, the calicos. Um, as, as I mentioned, your drag load or drag capability ranges from about 10, 11 pounds, 22 pounds, up to 25 pounds here. Um, and line capacity, you know, 300 of, say, 50 pound braid or more um, on a little 300 size. I put, um, let me think here. I put hollow core, uh, 30 pound on there, um, and have about 300 yards to work with uh, on that piece. Um, and then, you know, a shorty leader in the little 100 size. Again, in terms of drag, you range, you know, with a capability to deal with most anything out there, especially on these guys, you know, and the line capacity to match. There's, you know, this idea of, of larger bait casting reels um, really, I think probably first introduced, and I'll give credit, I hate to do it, to the bike maker that way with the Tranks, which I thought was kind of a silly product myself, um, especially at $500. Now at $249, this becomes pretty doggone reasonable, and it sure doesn't make any sense to purchase the other one, uh, <laughs> other manufacturer's product, based on what this guy will do and for what sort of pricing. Um, nice piece, and, and great capability, you know, that way. So that's going to be Daiwa's lineup. Um, you know, what do we expect to see uh, in at ICAST in July from Daiwa? Boy, I'd sure love to see the the Saltigas, you know, you know, reach their potential versus where they used to be uh, with the old star drag you know, Saltigas. You know, lever drags are still you know in the line as they as they have been for the last couple of years, but maybe we'll see something that way. But certainly Daiwa hit a whole okay, right things that, that went away from the Daiwa lineup. Uh, include the Coastal series, those are bye-bye. Uh, the Lunas, which were a round bait casting reel, those have gone away. Um, and really the Lexa with 25 different models, different configurations, whether it's a power handle or it's a paddle handle, you know, small, medium, or large. You know, those kind of replaced a few different pieces within the Daiwa lineup. Uh, Plutons too, bye-bye. You know, but these guys are going to be around for a long time. Parts and service will be, as always with Daiwa, uh, they build things backwards compatible. Uh, and the service department has done nothing but improve over the last 10 years with Daiwa. So it's money well spent. And don't expect to see these things changing every month. Daiwa, typically when they come out with a piece of gear, it stays within the line.